patients with cancer receive chemotherapy, which puts them at risk for neutropenia. And that neutropenia can lead to infections among patients with cancer that causes increased morbidity and mortality. So patients with cancer may not be aware of actions they can take to prevent infections. So we are trying to build an online interactive program to provide individualized health information for cancer patients. Patients can um, go to the online program, um, enter their kind of health and demographic information. Based on that, the program should provide them tailored uh, instructions on how to prevent infections. One might be for patients to um, ask their healthcare providers to wash their hands. It might be to avoid crowds when they will be neutropenic after chemo treatment. Um, it might be for family members to um, avoid them when they're sick. Um, those are some examples. We are trying to develop um, a model infection control plan for um, oncology healthcare providers in outpatient settings. In the past, most um, healthcare was provided in inpatient settings, acute care facilities, but now there's been this movement um, shift of healthcare delivery from inpatient to outpatient settings. And historically, our division has worked more with um, acute care facilities, but we're starting to recognize that because of this shift in healthcare delivery and the fact that many providers in outpatient patient settings may not have the same type of oversight and um, infrastructure to allow them to practice good infection control, that there is definitely a need to target those providers. Um, and so with that, um, in the fact that also with cancer patients, much of the care for them is taking place in outpatient settings. So we're hoping to work with many different um, professional organizations. Um, it would include um, oncology um, professional organizations, but also oncology nurses, um, and working through these national partners to be able to disseminate this model infection control plan and hoping, obviously, to target those that work in outpatient settings.